Hey guys, this is CJ from B2B Do-It-Yourself Electric Supercharger and I'm here with this quick video um, for electric superchargers and do they work. First of all, I could tell you, yes, electric superchargers work, but it all depends on what you call an electric supercharger. Okay, so let's um, look at these two examples. First, we're going to look at this inline fan. Okay, you see this a lot on eBay see them all over Amazon you see these things being sold as electric superchargers what this actually is it is a marine bilge blower you can pick it up at your local boat shop and that's what these guys do on eBay they buy them wholesale from a boat supplier a marine supplier uh, then they'll sell it to you and mark the price up so what's actually happening here is when you use this you put it on your engine air is being flown into your engine but as the air is being flown into your engine, there's no compression happening. The air must be compressed in between the impeller and your intake manifold. So what has to happen is this has to actually pack the air into your engine. But it doesn't have enough power because there's two things wrong with this. It doesn't have enough power and fan blades are not designed for compression. So if you do have any compression, what's going to happen is you're going to have some carpet version. Reversion is what happens when the air passes back through the blades. It's called reversion. So, any benefit you're going to get is pretty much null. So, this is pretty much a waste of time and you're really not going to get any benefit from it. Okay. Next, let's look at one of my prototypes. This is one of my prototypes, one of my first ones I made. Actually, yeah, this is one of my prototypes. And what's happening here? As you notice, we're using a real turbo compressor. Um, I got this off eBay, used, bought it for like 50 bucks. So I was like, okay, got to use turbo, chopped it up, turned it into a large supercharger. So what's happening here is that air comes into the uh, inlet. The impeller grabs it, spins it with centrifugal force, shoots it out the side, and what happens is the air smashes up against the uh, inner compression housing. That's how we make our boost. A turbo is an internal compression device. So we're making our boost inside the, um, the scroll. So we got high speed, low pressure air being converted into low speed, higher pressure air. So we, we are actually pressurizing our air. So now, once the air is pressurized right here, that pressurized air flows through the um, the uh, the outlet into your engine. Now, if there is a restriction, what happens is you see these tight impeller these these tight clearances that helps prevent reversion. You see the big difference. You see these tight impeller clearances, and you see these big wide gaps. This big straight in line gap. This is, this is one reason why this will make boost versus that making boost, why this will make horsepower, because the, the turbo actually helps prevent reversion. So you got to remember two things in order for an uh, electric supercharger to work. One, it has to use a real impeller, okay? It has to use a real turbo with a real impeller, okay? Second, your motor has to be strong enough to spin the impeller blades to your desired uh, speed. Every turbo has a compressor map. This does not have a compressor map because it's an inline fan for a boat. This does not have a compressor map because it's a marine bilge blower for a boat. This has a compressor map. What does the compressor map tell you? The compressor map will tell you when this impeller is spinning at a certain speed how much boost the compressor is making. So for example, this turns at 38,000 RPM. Then you look on the compressor map, the compressor map will tell you, okay, it's making 2 PSI boost or 2.5, 3 PSI, whatever. So we use a real compressor map and we use a brushless motor that's strong enough to get us to our desired impeller speed for the desired boost we want. So hopefully that, that cleared up some of the you know misunderstandings. There's a big difference between uh, an electric supercharger with 
a real turbo and an electric supercharger that uses an inline fan. This is a scam. This is here to teach you um, how to stay away from this scam. This is meant to educate and to get the word out about electric superchargers and their possibilities. Well, if you guys got any questions, you can hit me up uh, through YouTube. Uh, you can go to the website, check out the blog, you can email me. Also, I have an, actually I have two blogs, one blog on the website and another blog. Uh, the links will be posted if you want to go check out those blogs. And the blogs are real helpful because they break down speed, impeller speed, they break down, you know, battery usage, battery amperage to help you understand why you're not going to get 6 psi of boost. You guys, this look familiar? XS turbos whatever. Why you're not going to get 6 psi of boost from um, 9 amps, okay? And an impeller speed of 13,000 rpm. Well, if you go to the blog, you know, it, it'll break it down for you. You know, it'll tell you exactly what's going on. And, you know, it'll go into detail more about, you know, how these electric superchargers work. Well, guys, I got to go. My wife's upstairs cooking. I can smell the food. So, um, if you got any questions, like I said, just hit me up on YouTube. A lot of useful information on the website. Got any questions, you know, because I'm here, I'm here to try to help, you know, educate the community about these things so that you know we don't fall victim to them no more and it's, it's time for these scams to stop because I know you guys you know you want something real but unfortunately there are no real like superchargers I found it out myself and that's why I built my own real electric supercharger so do electric like superchargers work yes they do it's just you have to avoid the scams and you have to know how to recognize the scams there's a big difference between a sheet metal fan and a little 12 volt motor and a real turbo compressor uh, spinning at 24 volts or 36 volts or 44 volts or whatever so uh, hopefully that that information help you guys out